Uh, what's that thing? I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. You won't catch me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. There's a good fellow. There's a good fellow. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? <laughs> I'm dying! Look at me! It's killed me! You're not dying. Do you think he'll be all right? Of course. Madam Palfrey can mend cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, transfiguration class. Jocelyn Wadcock. 1911 to the present. Chaser for Puddlemere United Quidditch team. Record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Ballycastle Bats, 1931. I've got some collector's cards for sale, if you're interested. You've got a deal. Cheers, Harry. See you later. Cliodney. Medieval. Dates unknown. 
Irish druidess who discovered properties of moon dew. George's shop. It's Weasel, Grunge, and Potty. Peeves. I don't like the look of that armor. He's locked us in! I bet we can beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three Ickle Playmates. Ha ha ha! Come on, Ron! 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 Come on, you were brilliant, Ron! It's easy to be brilliant when you're scared half to death. We'd better get on to Transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Hello, and welcome to Transfiguration class. One of the most advanced transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an Animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves Animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The 
right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit and the spell will stop on its own. You will find rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right. Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Splendid, Miss Granger. Welsh Green Dragon. The breed is amongst the least troublesome of dragons and actively avoids humans unless provoked. Fire is issued in thin jets.
Let's move on to the Draconifor's spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. and on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the space bar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow keys to make it turn. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once he's grabbed a fireball pick, the dragon will produce one blast of flames for each pickup.
Hebridean black dragon. Britain's other native dragon is more aggressive than its Welsh counterpart and feeds mostly on deer, though it has been known to carry off large dogs.
Hungarian Horntail Dragon. Supposedly the most dangerous of all dragon breeds, the Hungarian Horntail can breathe fire up to 50 feet. Stun abandonment, then if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward. Break to Sakura! Ow! Break to Sakura! Break to Sakura! Break to Sakura! Thank <laughs> you. 
Romanian Longhorn Dragon. The horns of this breed of dragon are highly valued as potion ingredients, and as a result, its numbers have fallen in recent years.
Norwegian Ridgeback Dragon. The Ridgeback is nowadays one of the rarer dragon breeds and has been known to attack most kinds of large land mammals. done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. You've collected all ten challenge shields, which means... I get to go to the big bonus room. Fantastic! Wow! This
This is the Bean Bonus Room. Correct, Hermione. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. sort of dragon? Um, no. It's just a very small transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. We can come back and do it another time. Like this challenge is locked at the moment. <laughs> 